Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Allison and I'm a grad student here in Tokyo and it is the start of Lucky Bag or Fuka Fukuro season, which is one of my favorite times of the year. So this is the Lucky Bag I have today. It is by Adidas. So there's different types of Lucky Bags. The one I'm going to be opening today is the type where it's a bunch of random older stock. Now you could order probably a few of these boxes and get some things that are the same and some things that are different. I think usually they just have like a larger selection they pull from. So your box will probably be different than someone else's, but maybe not. And I got the 7500 yen one. Actually Adidas has like a ton of different Fukubukuro bags available. So I went for the performance one. They also had an original, which is like the Leaf brand, but I looked at past Fukubukuro's and it seems like this one had better stuff. I don't know, we'll see. It changes every year, you have no idea. So let's just get right on into it. I'm very excited, because it's the first one of the season. Okay, I thought there wouldn't be that much in here because it was kind of a light box, but it looks like there's a good amount. Okay, I'm just gonna pull things out of the box. So let's see what I got. First. By the way, this is the L size performance Adidas lucky bag or whatever. And they're Japanese L's. So I hope they fit. First of all, standard shirt. But this design at the heart is so cute, I think. Actually, I, I quite like this. I could totally work out in this. Do I work out now? No. But so the retail of this is 2,700 yen. If you hear children outside, please ignore them. It's always so freaking loud. They're coming home from school now. All right, next is, oh my God. Is this what I wanted? A pair of track pants. Wow. Wow, I don't know if these are gonna fit. <laughs> this looks like the normal design. Usually in these lucky bags, they have like weird stuff that's kind of ugly, but this is very basic and totally wearable. I'm very surprised in a good way. And this is valued at 5,500 yen. So just in these two items, I've made back the whole price of the box. Okay, this is going really well. And I see pink. <sighs> oh my God, <laughs> this is great. You guys, I should have got the more expensive one if I knew all the stuff was gonna be so good. I got a peach colored hoodie. Now this is valued at 6,500 yen. Almost the price of the whole box. And it's really soft. Oh, and the inside material is really nice. I don't know if it goes with my skin tone. Mm, but whatever. This is great. This is great. There's one more thing. And it's a pink and black bag. So it's not my favorite shade of pink, but um, you know, it's fine. And this bag is valued at 3,800 yen. All right, so now I'm gonna open up all the stuff. I'm gonna try it on and show you what it looks like. And then at the end of the video, let's calculate to see if it was all worth it. I mean, of course it was, but. All right, so let's start with the shirt. It's actually a pretty tight fit, like in a good way, like snug. In Japan, I really can't find this kind of fit ever. Actually, I think it's just the right size for me. Thank God. And here are the pants. There are pockets on the side. Pretty good overall. I actually kind of panicked when I put the pants on because it says that these are a Japanese L, which they are, but in America, these would be sold as a size small, probably small petite. And I don't know how they fit me, but they do, thank God. Cause it even says the waist size is like 10 centimeters smaller than I, am but they actually fit and they're pretty comfortable like they're not too tight i would totally wear these problems are sorry for this weird angle <laughs> but as you can see um i did push them up a little but if they're all the way down they're just at a very weird ankle length but if i push them up i think it's okay but you know this kind of thing it doesn't bother me that much because I am 166 centimeters tall or about five foot five, five foot six in America. And I'm actually pretty average height, like maybe a little on the tall side here, but my legs and arms are a lot longer than most Japanese people, I guess. Usually things are, they just don't go all the way like they should, but this is totally fine. I think it's good. Okay, now I have the hoodie on 
And actually I'm really surprised. It's a lot tighter than I expected. And like the pants, it is also an S size in America. But usually I don't have a problem with shirts here. But as you can see, it's very form fitting and there's actually pockets right here on the side. I can't wear anything under it. I tried to put it over the red t-shirt and I, it was really hard to put on. I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable, but like my arms, they don't have like the full range of motion. I wish they did. It is still comfortable though. And it's not like a deal breaker. I'm a little disappointed by the size, but uh, I would have got an XL box if they had one, but they don't. They only go up to L, Japan. Well, that's life. Okay, and lastly, we have the backpack. This backpack is kind of frustrating me because it's very, very close to being very cute. But there's just a few missteps along the way, such as this different material right here in the pocket. I don't like these stripey things. But the bottom is this really nice, like waterproof looking material. And of course there's a pocket here. And then the larger pocket, there is actually another smaller pocket inside, maybe for a laptop. I don't know. And then the straps are like, they're not padded, but they're better than just being this material. Yeah, it's a very standard bag, you know? It is a little cheap feeling in this part, but it retails at like 30 bucks. So, you know, it's about what you expect. All right, you guys, so that's all the stuff. I think it's pretty good. I don't know, for a lucky bag, I think this is a pretty good draw. If you don't like pink, you won't like this bag, but I love pink, it's my favorite color. All right, so I just added up the price of all the items. So the total comes out to about 18,000 yen or about $180. And I paid about $70 for the bag. I'm very satisfied. And I think next year I might order it again and maybe even go for the more expensive option. Let me know what you guys think of the items I got down in the comments. Would you be happy with this bag? Please let me know. And make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content about my life here in Japan or more lucky bag videos. I have at least two more planned. But I'm going to wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye!